One of the great things about podcasting is that the tools to record, edit, and publish keep getting better and better. I'm Brian Ensminger. I'm a podcaster and a podcast editor at toptieraudio.com. After you've recorded and edited your podcast, you still need to get it out of your software and in a format that your listeners can download from their favorite podcast app. In other programs, this might involve exporting the file and then converting it to a different format and then adding additional information to the file and then uploading it to your media host, say Libsyn or Blueberry or Buzzsprout or something like that. In Hindenburg, this can be handled in basically one or maybe two steps using the publish feature. But before you can publish, you need to set up a publishing destination. If you use many of the popular podcast media hosts, you can integrate directly. Select Publish, then click the plus to add a target. In this example, I'm going to choose Libsyn as the option so I can walk you through it. You'll be prompted to enter a title and then select the target, such as Libsyn. Then you'll be prompted to choose some settings. I recommend MP3 encoding at medium or low, loudness set to minus 16, and then you'll put in your credentials. In the following screen, confirm that you have the correct show and select whether you'd like to upload as draft. You can now see the target in the interface. If you don't see your media host, you can tell Hindenburg to publish to your computer and then upload the file yourself. In this example, I'm going to choose my computer as the option so I can walk you through that. Select Publish, then Plus. Name your target and select My Computer. In the window that pops up, select the settings that you want to use every time you publish. I recommend MP3, encoding at medium or low, loudness at minus 16, and then select the folder that you'd like to use. I recommend that you don't specify a file name, then click Finish. You can now see another target in the interface. With a destination or two specified, you're ready to publish. But before you do that, if you'd like to, you can add some additional information to the file to identify it. This might include things like your episode title, the name of your podcast, a description, artwork, and more. To do that, you can either go to File and then Properties, or simply select Publish and then Edit. In the interface that pops up, make sure that you've selected Podcast. Then populate the information that's important to you, such as title, description, episode artwork, publishing date, and so on. When you're done, click OK. Then select the target or targets you'd like and click Publish. Hindenburg will mix down your file match the loudness target, and automatically upload it wherever you've specified. In my case, we chose both Libsyn and my computer. When Hindenburg is completed, I'll find one file saved to my computer, and then I'll find another uploaded to Libsyn in draft status and ready to go. From there, you can add your episode notes and schedule your podcast to be published. When that's all done, you can plug in your headphones and set your volume, and then lean back and enjoy your show.